All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 3. So, um, Episode 2 really picked up. We got a lot more Bo-Katan, a lot more Mandalore, uh, Mythosaurs, all, all sorts of stuff. So I'm, I'm honestly very excited where we are right now as a story, especially with the whole Bo-Katan kind of uh, conflict, almost like religious conflict, so to speak, mm -hmm. between like Din Djarin and his beliefs in Bo-Katan and kind of her take on everything. I'm really I'm really excited to explore more of that. So I really can't wait. Um, yeah, as always, full length reactions up with the Patreon. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, as well as uh, full length reactions and early access to everything else we got on the channel. We're going to be doing The Mandalorian every week. I know we had some technical issues last week, but they will be fixed this time around. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you stick around because we would love to have you. And all that being said, let's just get into The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 3. No! This is Dr. Pershing. His enthusiasm outweighs his discretion. Oh, are we going to get all some... All the way back there. Are we going to get some First Order stuff here? What do you have for me? If I visit Ooh. the planet... I witnessed it. You bathed in the living waters. Okay. You drowned in the living waters. Like, <laughs> he really has been reborn. He was literally resurrected. Like straight, uh, that's got to be some bonus. Are there the bonus <laughs> effects? You know what I'm saying? Like, You see anything down there? No, I don't think so. The bombings from the purge must have triggered seismic... So was it underneath? Alive. Like what? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> She's not going to act crazy. She's like, I can't. I can't. I can't decide whether I wanted to see the Mythosaur or not, like, more. Like, it'd be kind of cool, but... I feel like, outside of plot and things like that, like, just me, like, I kind of want to see the Mythosaur. But, like, I don't for the see plot, it the, yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. makes it better that it's, like, hidden. You know what I'm saying? It's not, like, shown. Something's coming what up the heck? heck? It looks like a squadron of TIE Interceptors. Yeah, it's what? green. Yeah. What? So are we to Kalevala. Not far. Get us back there and I'll reinforce from the N1. I need you to back them off. What the heck, bro? We're getting attacked by the Empire? This is crazy. Why, though? I have no idea. Is it is there something with the... It's gotta be Baby Yoda again. For you. Or it has to do with Mandalore. Mandalore, really? They tend to get mad when you hijack their ships. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. He's just gonna have to straight drop out. Holy cow. Oh. Goodness. Holy. That's a little risky. That's super risky. Dang. Hey, we made it. Dang. Go, 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 oh, go, go. You go, better go. hurry up. Someone spotted you. Holy. Come on, dude. <laughs> Still. Ooh, careful. Of course, it's been a while. <laughs> Ooh. Jeez. This is so cool. Let's go. Two more to go. Go right. I'll meet you on the other side. Huh. Oh, nice. We'll lead him right into him. Oh, that was sick. Oh, what the heck? Hey, that's a maneuverable big ship. Uh, that's some crazy flying. Antique. You take any damage? Just shields. Hang on. I'm seeing something on the scope. Oh, great. What is it like a full Two other? What? <gasps> no. What Bombers. the heck? What the heck? What? Oh, no. 
We could take down bombers. Do they have any fighters protecting them? Yeah, but still, we don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's the fight. Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh, we have crazy company. You have to get out of there. We've got to get out of here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. They're all interceptors. Is she gonna make it? Okay. Okay, come hurry on, up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay. Goodness. That was a cold open. The convert. Coruscant? So my idea, it has to, I feel like it has something to do with Baby Yoda still. I think it's got to be Bo-Katan. They're pissed. And but they, then why would they show that beginning? I don't know. Uh, right? I, I would imagine maybe it's those people, but I, I think it has to do with Bo. Okay. The amnesty program saved my life. Of knowledge is the most noble thing someone can do. Sadly, when I was young, I lost my mother. What was that? The person who I admired most. Had simple organ cloning been available on my home world, her death would have been easily preventable. My life's work to help others avoid such needless loss. Yeah, it seems like he's trying to promote something. Duplicate an individual from a single genetic strand that incorporated the best genetic attributes of both donors. Okay, yeah, he is. It's quite fascinating. And, and why is that other lady who, who is part of the Empire, or who was part of them as well? With a government that appreciates your contribution, huh? You know, I was almost drafted. Imagine me serving. <laughs> oh, my apologies. Empire, Rebels, New Republic, I can't keep track. I think you will find it a very lovely city. You must be sure to visit the Sky Dome Botanical Gardens. Why are you... Are you... This is creepy. <laughs> ah. And if you have time, the Galactic Museum is a wonderful This is really cool to see Coruscant in this, like, time period. Yeah. It's very interesting. Please watch your step as you exit the vehicle. Amnesty scientist, L-52. So they must have... Okay. The pins, they make it hard to hide. Oh. Yes. I was just transferred from their reintegration institute. So they all work for the Empire, Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. To, at least. In one way or another. I didn't expect to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship here. I didn't know you worked for him. I heard he escaped en route to the War Tribunal. No, that was... What? What? I heard they hooked him up to a mind flare. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Great. Thanks to the rehabilitation program, I can contribute to the New Republic. Long, Long live, live the, the New, new Republic. Republic. I would think that's some sort of violation of amnesty housing, though. Republic. What is? Having somebody, like, that you used to work with in the same housing as you. Thank you. Uniform. <laughs> what do you miss, L-52? No, I'm glad that the Empire is... Oh, not like that. I mean, more like the everyday stuff, like the food. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, mean, I mean, your you life's just different. Stuff? Yeah. I guess... Yellow... Travel biscuits from the Russian. <laughs> They're like, bro. <laughs> Gotta say, though, I like the red ones. Oh. You're crazy. Travel biscuits? Well, what's wrong with them? I'm just saying, if I never see another ration pack in my life, I'll die happy. Yikes. <laughs> That hurts. Oh, man. Layers of buildings and cover the entire so it seems like he's a little distrustful, but like, it seems like there he's warming up a little. Yeah, of course he's new. I'm just saying to her, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that she's from... Oh, no, come on. We don't... Oh, no. Watch out, bro. Stay in your room and just don't answer the door. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What? Oh, it's the someone got him. Did she get him for him? I would assume that it was her. Oh, I saw your talk last night. Really interesting stuff. I had no idea you're so experienced. Wonder why they have you down here. Let you get back to it. 
Thank I, you I like how he feels almost a little bit like traumatized by everything, and he's like taking a second to kind of like, rehabilitate. Yeah. Honestly, but he's kind of acting like you're melting. A normal introverted person oh. would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could just be that. So many people. It's all a bit overwhelming. Makes me feel rather insignificant. Hmm. Makes me feel special. Knowing everything I had to overcome to get back here. Not much has changed. Other than taking down the cogwheels. Hmm. It did feel different though. We thought we were doing good. We were close to making some incredible breakthroughs. Yeah, and it's like... Discoveries could have helped a lot of people. So why not continue your research? Yeah. Because they don't want him to. The ethics of cloning are complicated. But if it could help the New Republic, isn't that important enough? Isn't this the same philosophy that got you into the... The New Republic is trying their best, but they're struggling. You understand what I'm saying? What is that? Dude, the, the, the fair music playing in the background, I'm almost positive that's like they say it's the only one of the, the entire bad guy can themes. See the planet itself. Are we allowed to? Allowed? Live a little, Doc. <laughs> okay, but, you know, all I'm saying is like, sometimes you don't want to go around touching stuff. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. From physical <laughs> contact so movement. sorry. You knew that was gonna happen, didn't you? <laughs> no littering. Uh, <laughs> Dang, bro, he lost his popsicle. Oh, the look on your face was priceless. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a very introverted type character, right? He acts very much like that. Yeah, and, and um, he seems like very dedicated to his work. Are you able to maintain a consistent schedule? Yes. Are you experiencing any undue stress, feelings of anger or resentment towards your co-workers? Kind of defeat the whole purpose of, like, therapy. Feelings of anger or resentment towards the New Republic government mm. or its representatives. No. If I were to pursue my own research recreationally, would that be allowed? No way. That class of research is expressly prohibited by the Chorus and Accords. So my apologies. Do you have any further questions? I feel like that that needs to be like you need to discuss that with somebody like on why and like you know like reasons and things like yeah, that not yeah, just like yeah. no right because if you think about it like this person's life was dedicated to yes, something and it could and be helpful what we were talking about the other day I'm just a little worried that she's like you know secretly been thinking about it Oh shoot. I know it's important and in the hands of the Oh no. Ho, 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 uh. Well, not much to get started. Um, some supplies, a mobile lab station. <laughs> not much. Silly idea. I know it is, but I really Stop. believe that You want to help? Them. We can get you a mobile lab station. We? Yeah. Require going outside our designated perimeter. Oh no, dude. If they found out, we'd both be sent back to the reintegration institute. But if your research really is as important as you say, I'll take that risk. Dang, I think she's playing you, I'm man. worried that I think I want to trust you. her, but like, I don't know, bro. Just sleep on it, okay? Bro, he's gonna do it. Ah, it's it's just slowly picking away at him. Yeah. Equipment I'm archiving, it's all coded to be destroyed. It's all still perfectly good. It's Imperial technology. Yes, but they can still be put to good use. Oh no. Uh... Behind here. Not only do we have the Imperial disposal yards to inventory, but we're still decommissioning the Alliance fleet. I'd make one of those. I'd have to check if that's even possible. But it's fine. Forget I asked. Sorry, L52. I know it's not easy, but. I assure you, this is truly helping the New Republic. I don't know if it actually is. See, that's one of those things where it's like, you know, you're per you're trying to purge certain things. Well, regardless might, if it's if it's efficient it, or not. It, it might also be, I mean, it reminds me a little bit in a, in a very different way of like... Any feelings of anger or resentment towards the New Republic government or its representatives. Apologies if you didn't hear me. Have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment? No. 
objective is to help the Republic, right? Correct. And that supersedes everything else? It does. Oh, well, that's a... Uh... Jeez. Continuing to be an important part Yeah, you of missed those red flags there, droid. I stay. The mobile lab station? Let's go get it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I'm so rooting for... Why am I rooting for this guy? I don't know where. I really am, though. Tomorrow night... It's the right thing to do. Oh, no, dude. Relax. Just follow my lead. Oh, jeez. Oh, Just chill, chill. You got it. You're good. You're good. It's gonna be fine. Remember why we're doing this. Okay. They don't have a little. They don't have an alarm for that. Jumping on the subway, baby. Ah. They're really like up in the budget this episode. Yeah. This season, honestly. The other thing is, I think 100% she has done this before. The disposal yards. You know. Done what? Like, like snuck out of their special. Oh, okay. Imperial ships all have mobile lab stations, right? They do, but they're... We slip in, grab what you need, and we're back at Amnesty Housing before you know it. Have you done this before? Yeah, see? Yeah. Or do you think I got the biscuits? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. I was worried Gosh. about this. She's done this before. Oh <laughs> Go gosh. ahead. Like, what, what do you mean? You can do it. Oh, snap. Can he? That's so suspicious. Yes. Tong's days. Am I right? <laughs> that is, it's very obvious Weird, now. Weird, not in a good way. We're gonna jump? No way. No, no way. We're dead. We're gonna jump. Oh my no gosh. No way. Maybe in a while? Is there like some sort of. Trust me. No. Yeah. You're insane. No, there's gotta be some sort of like thing that they set up. Uh oh. Okay. Slowing, slowing down, we're slowing, slowing down. down. The Oh, okay. There was a thing. <laughs> Dang. Just the whole Star Destroyer. I'm off Gideon. <laughs> it's Just like a whole, there. a bunch of people chilling. I'm serious, bro. I, I feel very suspicious that we haven't seen Moff Gideon or where he went. Yeah, and then season. they had that we whole dumb conversation, him. like, oh, where did he go, you know? Yeah, like, I don't like okay, this. Okay, bro. Elia Kane, communications officer. Hmm. Dr. Penn Pershing, scientist. Here it is. Hmm. That's cool. I'm trying to at least trust this on face value for now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, like, she's being really cool to him. Like, if, if this is all legit, she's being super cool to him. This is perfect. Then again, outside the plot, I'm just very untrust. I, I don't know. I just, Holy I don't trust anything. I'm very I worried. <laughs> I remember the first time I was in a place like this. My mother was a doctor in the town where I grew up. I would spend days in her office dreaming of a lab like this. Yeah, I mean, the Empire gives you what you need. Uh, 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 what was uh, that? Oh, guys. Just the ship settling. No, I. Are you sure? I'll keep watch just in case. Oh my gosh, did you lie? Why? She back. seems very. She seems nervous. super tense. Oh gosh. Oh no, what, 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 what? Uh, 
Turn off your flashlight. Yes. Gosh, it looks so. Oh, oh no! Great, dude. Damn. Shoot. That was. This is not good. We're so screwed. Unless they're all part of the same. What? What? Did she was she supposed to be like a? Just wait, wait, wait! Uh, uh, Amnesty officer G sixty eight has already submitted a report. What? No, no, no! I, I think there's been a mistake. Well, I was hurt to help you. Indoctrination by the Empire is challenging to overcome. What are you doing to them to overcome it? This is a mind flare. This is a 602 mitigator. No, it's a mind flare. It's a similar device. It can be used to help soothe select traumatic memories. What? You'll see some pleasant colors, uh, hear a light buzzing, huh, and experience a huh. great sense of relief in no time at all. What are, what? Absolutely not. This isn't the Empire. Yeah, it kind of is, because if you're selecting yeah. certain memories. Treatment myself, in fact, and I found the experience quite refreshing. I just wanted to help. She sent me up, please. Why? You set me up. I thought he was doing so well. Know that for every failure, there's a success like you. What? Do you mind if I stay? I feel like there's some other play. Yeah, we're just gonna, gonna leave her in here? Oh, he's gonna turn it up. Oh no! Oh no! Dude, what? Yeah, like, is she authorized to be, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is, is this? this? What? I'm bringing you to a Mandalorian covert. This is how we have survived in exile. This is the same place, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Secret location, and you are my guest. Of course. <laughs> I have no idea, but this is sick. This is cool. I'm wondering if they know her and they're going to be like, you can't like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, dang. Oh, he, he does. Uh. Come no further. You are an apostate, Dijari. Not anymore. Not anymore. I have been to the mines of Mandalore. Impossible. How do we know that it is not you who is lying? He speaks the truth. Show him. Witness. And who are you, Night Owl? To show him the water. Your house has fallen from the way. You were both apostates. What? I mean, the living waters. Dang. Does that mean? Okay. These are indeed the living waters. Dinjarin, you are redeemed. And so is Bo-Katan, because she hasn't taken off her helmet. Yeah. And she got it. Did you bathe in the waters? And have you removed your helmet since? No. Then technically she does. Then you may join our covert and live as your ancestors. Welcome, Bo-Katan of Clan Crees. This is the way. This, this is, is the way. way. That's cool. Yeah, I I'm wondering though if that's awesome. There's so much to talk about. Like, oh my gosh! Gosh, there's so much. D to talk oh, about. what an episode, man! That may be one of my favorite episodes of this whole show. That was very stacked. What an episode! Holy cow! Wow, that was a full hour, basically. Yeah, because that was a there was a lot of things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the whole beginning was the, the whole, we had that whole tie interceptor. Situation. That was sick. That was really cool. That, they've been upping the space battles here, and I think it's a it's super cool. And yeah, I think it is cool. I don't know if that's one of the reasons they upgraded his ship or not, but regardless, we've had a few cool space battles 
uh, and it's really fun to see. And I would imagine a lot of that comes from budget and stuff like that now. Oh yeah, of course. But it's dope. It's 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 absolutely awesome to see. Yeah, um, to see something like the tie interceptors in like modern tech and stuff like that. I mean, we barely even saw the tie interceptors in the original series. It's just it makes me happy. Yeah, I I've seen a lot of the tie interceptors from the uh, from the game. Yeah. The, in Battlefront 2, you yeah. used to be able to play, like, so I know a lot of the ships, but it is it is cool to see them kind of, like, um, in live action. action, kind yeah. of, like, you know, like, flying around and stuff like yeah. that. Um, and you used for a purpose or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. using their speed and things like that. Um, and it's, it's, I'm still wondering, like, how, what their reasons for doing what they want, you know, what they were doing. You know, taking out uh, Bo Katan's area, where yeah. they're even from, right? Where I, are they getting I think, this? I think it's it must be I it must be there after Bo Katan. I don't think it's Baby Yoda. That's my personal thing. I, I don't think I think they were after Bo Katan because she attacked some of their ships and stuff like that, and they somehow tracked her down. Okay, I still think there's something up with Baby Yoda, um, because of the whole. Maybe. But they bombed her castle, so it was almost like they were going after her. No, of course, but um, it's still there's still a possible link to Baby Yoda there, um, and also I feel like the the whole second part, like the the other plot, kind of deals with that as well. Yeah, with the whole yeah. like research thing. So, so I think that 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 she was working with the the Empire because I feel still like her currently. eating the cracker at the end or whatever mm. is kind of like a symbolic of it. Yeah, like she. Like she still, still enjoys drinking the Kool Aid, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. Um, I don't understand what the whole point of of the like machine though is. Like, I don't know if it's gonna brainwash him. I, I, I yeah, just, I don't know what it. I mean, does. People can tell us in the comments. I don't know if that's something that I should know that I don't know, uh, or that was kind of like a new piece of technology, but. Because I feel like that really that can change a few things, like depending on what it does. Of course, because then it, you can see the reasons, right? Um, uh, I, I I just loved that though. That was such a cool snapshot into. Uh, I don't know. It gave me ho- like I know everybody's been talking uh, about about you know the Mandalorian doing what Clone Wars did for the the prequel trilogy for the sequel trilogy, and I have been very skeptical about that i still am very skeptical about that because i feel like they have a uh, a big job ahead of them let's say but this was the closest i've ever seen them come to that heads down i i don't i can't really say much because i don't know much about the <laughs> sequel the sequel so but i will say it was very i it was it was a unique sort of thing when it comes to star wars just because we're not usually dealing with um you know the kind of like on the ground uh troops you know the normal you know i feel like mandalorian is doing a good job of um dealing with the other aspects of this world um and even more here like that yeah is very the whole like idea of like what happens after war the re- rebels win you know it's yeah. like well yeah, like it's not just like the war's over and no. we're all free and good now. It's like no, no bro, there are systems in place. Now and those then galaxy are gone. wide. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's it's even more like we, we we only know about like like countries and stuff like that. Like imagining the the insurmountable task of oh yeah of rehabilitating all these mil- billions of people who are part of the Trillions empire. Trillions of people. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the galaxy is huge. You know, they're talking about like and like you don't think about that solar- when you're watching like oh Luke beat Darth Vader. Like you don't you don't think about that. Yeah, and so it is cool to kind of see them um, delving into this a little bit more. Um, and it's cool to see you know certain things like for example them purging a lot of the empires' um, uh, information and, and tech their, and stuff. Yeah, even if it might help, you know, possibly help them if they were able to like you know incorporate it somehow right of course, of course. Um, but it's kind of like yeah but this isn't you know the new republic tech this is empire tech yeah which yeah, is essentially yeah. like forbidden kind of you know what i'm saying and, and so it's cool to kind of see that like 
thought process like okay yeah like we're getting rid of the empire completely it doesn't matter what you know but then not completely right so then like i even liked a little moment with like some of the politicians or the aristocrats or i don't know who they were exactly mm-hmm. but like that idea of like these people are these people aren't going away no 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 yeah they've been around through all of it and they're like yeah yeah empire whatever do republic don't really care we just do our thing and of course and cooperate uh, and so I think that's interesting too, because it really does lend the idea of like, I do think there's a difference, but it does, it does very easily make it believable to see somebody like this doctor be like, is there a difference? And ask that question mm-hmm. because on a day to day basis, it does feel the same. In fact, it feels worse. Yeah. Cause it is, you know, during that transition period, there's going to be a lot of, um, bias, Towards certain things, which, of course. you know, in a more like objective sense might actually hurt everyone in the long run. Frankly, because... the fact they have a rehabilitation program is kind of amazing. That's I know that cool. sounds I know that sounds terrible, but like really even considering that you're totally right. Like even the fact that, that something like that exists, yeah. I think it, it, it lends evidence to the good faith of the New Republic. It does. And it's 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 very, you know, I, I think that's very cool to see. Um, cause like, especially like in shows, like you're not going to see like most of the time, like, uh, tr- them trying to, you know, reintegrate people who weren't exactly like, you know, the high up, like, you know, whatever sure. generals and things like that. People who were just on the ground, you know, doing their job and trying to get them back into the system, you know, because there's going to be like so many people like that, you know? And most shows, and I'm not, I'm not blaming like other shows, but, um, usually you don't get that side of it. Of course. And so it's cool to kind of see them show it. And also the new Republic make, make an effort, you know, to do this. Yeah. I, I, yeah, this was just great, man. I, I, I know you didn't watch Andor, but, and I watched it off screen, but it reminds me a lot of Andor and this is really where I would like to see Star Wars going. If we could deal with a little bit more of the like we've dealt so much with these like galaxy wide, you know, mm-hmm. Skywalker saga epic and and it, quite literally, even in the way that Lucas set out to tell the story, it is like an epic like it very much calls back to these great fairy tales and, and, and yeah, which is also awesome. tra- like tragedies and, mm-hmm. and right like all these things. Um, but I think that the direction if you were going to keep Star Wars going without it just being like empty a little bit and kind of corporate w- would be to go like this. Yeah, because like feel really like, excites me, like to focus on the little man. Because the universe is, I feel like the, this universe is so big, and it's yeah. like there's so many like small aspects where you could just tell an awesome story about, like, you know, yeah, like for example, Mandalorian, like Bounty Hunters, and things like that. You know, um, I, I think that that is you're right, and that is a good way to kind of take it. Yeah, and right. I'm really excited to see Bo Katan with the yeah. Mandalorian. I feel like sorry, I, there's just so much to talk. There about. is so much to talk about. Holy cow. Um, uh, yeah, the whole Bo Katan thing is interesting because, um, and it's cool to see them like stick to their. Which I mean, I I feel like I knew they would because they are pretty strict about their like rules and th- <laughs> stuff. So they weren't going to be like, yeah, but we don't like you, Bo Katan. You know? <laughs> hey, like, hey, hey, I would put it past that them. one dude. Like, right, that's what I was worried about. Like the, the people kind of like yeah, like directly more directly connected to like the whole like war and things like that. Yeah. Like I feel like they might be like, okay, bro, like you were. You know, you're kind of like a traitor almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So I'm a little worried there. But, you know, the rest of them kind of like being like, oh, yeah, like welcoming kind of like. Sure. Um, and it's interesting to see like what is Bo-Katan, you know, because you have that feeling of like, yeah, I don't believe in certain things. But, do you know, it feels good to be part of the group again. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So it's like, what are you, you know, what and is I she going to do? After all, the episode was called The Convert. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. like, Which is so interesting because in fact, I honestly thought it was going to go the other direction yeah i did i thought din was going to be like oh maybe i'm wrong about yeah, this yeah, stuff yeah 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 and i should stop taking this so seriously which it's it's still may uh, but i'm but very surprised so cool. that this direction of like no there is beauty in in this ritual and all this yeah fascinating i'm really interested me too um yeah i can't wait dude i i really am this this episode really sold me on the season 
I, I really love this episode so far. So, um, as always, full length thrashes up with the Patreon. The um, next episode is going to be, we're going to watch it next week as well. Uh, feel free to check out all the other stuff we got on the channel. We got some other cool early access stuff on the Patreon too. And yeah, thank you guys just, just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. We would love to have you with us. And all that being said, if you do, we will see you all in the next video.